Hi everyone! I just finished another sketchbook. So I just wanted to say welcome to everyone that's new here. I've had a lot of new subscribers since posting my last two videos. Uh, three videos actually since the sketchbook tour and I just wanted to say welcome and I'm really glad you're here to hang out with me as I show you the things that I've been making and talk about some of the things that inspire me. My name is Sally and I'm a mixed media artist in Australia and I also have two cats that pop up in my videos pretty regularly. So last year I took myself to Vancouver on a little holiday to celebrate my birthday and I went to visit a Michael's store because I had never been to one before and for all of my Australians Michael's is just like a big spotlight basically. When I was in there I just saw this little sketchbook and there was something about it that just caught my eye. I've never had a sketchbook that's this small before. I bought it, it was cheap, I bought it, I brought it home with me. Now I have a shelf uh, there that is full of unused sketchbooks. Uh, I like to buy sketchbooks. I do like to also use sketchbooks but I do have a shelf full of new unused sketchbooks so I got home, I put this on that shelf and then Towards the end of the year, I think I'd finished my self-portrait sketchbook. It was just a sketchbook that I had that I just did self-portraits in, pretty self-explanatory. I always have my big main sketchbooks that I work in, but I do like to have these little sketchbooks that are just like a one project type situation. Towards the end of the year, I started thinking about what I could do next after I'd just completed the self-portrait sketchbook. And I thought maybe I'll do another self-portrait sketchbook, but I just wasn't feeling like ready to jump back into regular self-portraits. But that's when I looked back on the shelf and I saw this and I thought maybe I could start a daily practice of doing a sketch a day. And I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. I wanted to get into the habit of doing a daily practice. I also wanted to record the process so if you've been watching my shorts or follow me on TikTok every single day I uploaded a time-lapse sped up video of doing each of these pages other than when we had a big storm and I didn't have power for a few days. That was actually part of what kept me going with this. I had made the commitment to upload a video every day. I started on the 1st of January and I finished it on the 10th of July. Keeping consistent with the uploads and the video process kept me committed to doing the drawings on the days where I really didn't feel like opening up and sketching anything. I still did that and I don't love everything that's in here but I think that's a really important part of it. This was actually really good for getting me into the zone of regularly creating things to film, to upload, to make videos about. So that's kind of why I stuck with it and it was really beneficial. I, I, le I learned a lot. Long rant. Long. <laughs> Let's have a look at what I made. Now, like I mentioned in my super long intro, this was from Michael's, but I have no idea what brand it was. So if anyone of my North American viewers knows or recognizes this little sketchbook, if you could drop it in the comments, because I had a lot of people ask me uh, while I was making the shorts and the TikToks and I just couldn't remember. Like I had no idea. Um, it's about a 10 by 10 centimeter size, which is approximately almost like four inches. So quite like pocket sized little sketchbook and really good for something like this project where it's like a sketch a day. Uh, so you don't have too much space to fill because the challenge of doing something every day is challenge enough. Adding on top of that, filming each one to make a video was 
something else entirely on top of that. So I didn't like, I don't know. Has anyone attempted this on a big surface? I couldn't, <laughs> I don't think I could. So I started out using this as warm ups and I would start my day with a warm up sketch in this sketchbook and then go on to my regular work but then it sort of evolved uh, throughout the time and I ended up doing them at the end of the day so the sketches sort of became either like a reflection on how I felt that day or something that had happened that day or you know other artwork that I'd worked on that day and yeah it's really interesting to look back and see like the supplies that I used and all the things that I was sort of captured. I hadn't actually looked through this uh, until filming this flip through so it's really interesting to see it all as a full collection now because I had forgotten about some of these pieces. I spent about five minutes on each drawing. Uh, I purposefully didn't want to spend a lot of time. Like it wasn't intended to be full completed illustrations. It was literally just like sketch out an idea, get something on the page and move on. And there's a lot of freedom in not trying to be perfect with every page and there's a there's a lot of pages that I really really love and there's some where I just like I don't like this at all but I still filmed it and I still uploaded it and held myself to that commitment that I'd made and it was really interesting in that regard because I feel like with the way that artists sort of exist on the internet there's so much pressure to make everything content for the internet and I don't think that's a necessarily super healthy way to exist as an artist but it is kind of necessary in this environment that we're all in um, to get exposure and to promote yourself and market yourself that sort of thing so it was really interesting to sort of have this as the content that I was producing each day even though a lot of this isn't really a true example of the work that I do um, but it gave me sort of some freedom away from producing content to just create in my own time and without having to set up and film everything and edit and make it internet worthy, uh, if that makes sense. And I think it's a really sort of interesting conversation to have. And I think it's really important to make stuff that's just for you. Uh, until you sort of are ready to release it to the wide world but that you take time to not just be making content for the internet uh, I have a very sort of I wouldn't even say love-hate relationship with Instagram I like <laughs> truly <laughs> hate that platform and yeah I've been increasingly frustrated especially in the last nine months with the internet and sort of being able to use my voice in an authentic way like authentic to my personal beliefs and still you know keep the app and the algorithm happy by posting constantly so yeah, it's been very, very interesting, uh, especially with this project where I do reflect some political views, sometimes in a really subtle way and sometimes it's really obvious. Uh, I noticed when I was flipping through this, there's a lot of really sad portraits and I 
do believe that that's because I've just felt so many emotions in the last nine months. You know, I've felt so many different emotions about the state of the world since January 1st when I started this sketchbook. And then, you know, we also have illustrations like inspired by Cowboy Carter and things like that. So it was just a very interesting sort of snapshot of the first seven months of this year. This was one of my favorite drawings, that little illustration. So yeah, I, I really gained a lot from this. I also did enjoy having some time off at the end of it when I'd finished to just chill for a couple of nights and not upload anything on the internet. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love making videos for YouTube and I've been having so much fun with my art since doing that and I love sharing all this with you. Uh, I just think there's got to be sort of like a balance between feeling like you have to make everything content and then just working in your sketchbook with no other thoughts you know don't have to worry about like particular lighting or angles or did you film all of that and edit and blah 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 um setting it to you know trending audios and all that sort of thing if you're an artist on the internet you will know exactly what i'm talking about um i love showing you my sketchbook like i'll work in my sketchbook and not film it but I'll show you when we do a sketchbook tour at the end of it and I'm more than happy to do that but I just think there's something so valuable to me personally anyway about making something just by myself with no camera involved <laughs> you know I hope this is resonating with somebody um but yeah this is a really interesting project for me this is one of my more obvious political statements and yeah it was it was really cool to look back and be able to reflect on how I was feeling or what I was interested in on these days that I made these drawings and there was a lot of cats because obviously I love cats and a lot of portraits, because that's definitely my comfort zone. This was one of my favorites. This one, I just captured something so nice in her expression. Some days I knew exactly what I wanted to put down on the page and sometimes I had no idea. And that was sort of an interesting part of the challenge as well, because it's like, what do you draw when you sort of have to draw something, but you have no thoughts no ideas, no inspiration. Um, so a lot of the times I would just like open up Pinterest, just the first thing I saw on the homepage, I would just draw that with whatever supplies were in front of me. Sometimes, you know, I had new supplies and I was really excited about them. I just had an art subscription box or something like that. And, you know, I wanted to try them out. This bee, this sad bee was one of the funniest things that I drew. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I didn't mean it to look that depressing, <laughs> but I love it. I totally love it. And then a little portrait of a river. And that is the end of every sketch that I did since January 1st. Now I did only miss a couple of days here and there. Um, probably only about three I reckon and I'll be completely honest there was a point there where I thought I could just film everything like do 10 sketches in a day film it all and then just upload the videos each day but I really didn't want to do that like I really wanted this to be a sketch a day um and I I didn't want I, like I felt like that would be cheating in a way not that there's any kind of rules to this like I could definitely have, have done that but I feel like that would have been a completely different challenge 
And it was interesting too, looking back and seeing like my main sketchbook and how sometimes I used the exact same ideas or the exact same references to do my sketch a day and how sort of similar or slightly different they are. Like I did this sketch and I prefer the sketch a day one. Um, so I just thought I would show you some comparisons to like my main sketchbook, which we just did a tour of and I'll leave the video in the description box down below if you haven't seen that yet. And then my sketch a day, which sometimes I would just be inspired by what I'd drawn that day in my main sketchbook. So that's my main and my mini that we just finished. So those two are done. And this is my new big sketchbook. So we're currently working through this one. I've already completed few spreads and I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far and then I've got this set of seven sketchbooks that I picked up in an art supply store I just loved the rainbow colors and each sketchbook has different paper and I thought this might be cool to do as like my next sort of little project so I've got some ideas but I don't want to reveal anything just yet but there's going to be a full set of seven sketchbooks um, that are all going to relate to each other in some way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas and inspiration. Let me know if you do something similar to this. Uh, and also your thoughts on art for yourself as opposed to art for the internet. It's an interesting conversation. And it's something that I talk about uh, with my close friends pretty regularly. With that being said, for the internet, like this video. If you liked this video, comment to boost engagement. It really, really helps me out. And subscribe if you think you'd like to see more of my sketchbooks. This painting is evolving. It's blue now. I don't think that's something that I will film for the internet, but I'll show you once it's done. Hope you like this video and thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.